best friend Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting in the deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it Each and every high, every night with you You and me so clueless We were just broken, shattered Singing along to nothing matters Stray around like nighttime rumors We were in too deep You just saw that I folded three loads of clothes. I did actually wash clothes this weekend, and I'll tell you in a moment. Um, two of those loads were from Friday. The other one was from Saturday because Jeff was working, and Noah and I decided to surprise him and go ahead and cut the whole yard ourselves so that he wouldn't have to do it. Usually him and Noah tackle it together, and I told Noah, I said, you grab the backyard because it's the biggest. I'll do the front yard and then that way we've got it done. So whenever he came home on Saturday night, he had a nice surprise that the grass was cut. He came in and said, hmm, somebody cut the grass. I started telling fairies did it, but, you know, that would have been a lie. But <laughs> I said, yeah, and I can feel it too. But let me tell you a little story about it. We have two push mowers. We have a riding line mower, but we don't usually use it a lot. Right now, we can't use it because of the tires need to be changed. Actually, we need to get to that. We need to do that. Anyways, um, we have two push mowers. They are both self-propelled. It's been since last summer since I cut grass. So, I was like, got out there to the front yard, and I was starting to cut the grass, and I was wearing Crocs. Tip number one don't wear Crocs. That's dumb. They're not comfortable when cutting grass. At least, well, one my one pair of my Crocs, because I have two pair. I have one that's really crazy psychedelic colors, like tie-dye, and I have a camouflage pair. The camouflage pair is pretty comfortable. The other ones, not so much. Anyway, um, I was wearing the crazy ones, the psychedelic ones. 
and I thought I'm just gonna slip these on I'm gonna go out there and cut the front yard so cranked up the lawnmower no problem cranked right up and then I start mowing the grass I'm like man this thing's not working it's not it, I thought it was self propelled something's not working I go around like three times and I think huh maybe I need to go ask Noah what's going on but first I want to go get something to drink so I came inside and I got me something to drink because you know you don't want to be dehydrated well then I said no I'm not gonna worry about uh, going out there messing with Noah because he'll have to stop and he'll have to come check the lawnmower and all this stuff and I'll just check it out I figured it out myself so I go back out there and I pull the lever that's the gas whatever the thing that you have to have held down or else the lawnmower will not work um it's a safety mechanism but anyways they didn't used to have those lawnmowers but i'll pull it back then i look at the lawnmower and i'm like there's another lever yeah that's the self-propelled lever i didn't have it pulled the first part of the time so i was like oh i feel stupid and extra tired now because i pushed the push mower. Now, I used to do that all the time. It was no problem. I was much younger and I was much thinner and much better toned and in a lot better shape. <laughs> so, anyway, I'm fine. No problems. So, like, for the rest of the time, it was a breeze. It just, like, I just walked behind it. And I, we, I cut the front yard. But I forgot how to use the self-propelled part of the lawnmower. I felt dumb. But that's okay. Noah and I had a very fun laugh after about it, and Jeff and I did too. <laughs> because I told him about it. And now, I'm telling you guys about it. Laugh with me. So, we surprised him, cut the grass for him. So he would, I mean, usually they do it together. Noah could do it all himself, but usually they just do it together. Because we have two lawnmowers. It makes it easier. Get it done really fast. I mean, we cut the whole entire yard in less than 30 minutes. That's pretty good. Now, we did not weed eat because it was getting dark. We waited till it was almost dark because, or, you know, later in the evening, it was, like, close to 6, so it wouldn't be, I mean, other people were cutting their grass at the same time, so we weren't disturbing anyone. But my battery light is flashing. I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. So I told you about that. Um, did I say I wa I'm washing a load of clothes? Yeah, I think, I don't know if I did or not, but I'm washing a load of clothes and I'm washing the dog clothes later and then I'm going to wash the washer. That's what I'm doing today. Um, otherwise, today, I need to empty the dishwasher, empty the dish drainer, reload the dishwasher, and wash a few hand wash things. I may or may not share that with you guys. I don't know. I don't want the video full of music. Yesterday's video had a lot of music in it, but I thought y'all might enjoy that because I enjoy those types of things and the things that I share with you are things that I enjoy because I like seeing things from other people's perspectives and I like seeing nature and stuff and I like seeing when people go on a drive as long as it's not too terribly long and I hope that wasn't too terribly long. It wasn't for me, I enjoyed it, but I enjoyed yesterday too, seeing all the things. But today is Monday and did I say we're having spaghetti for supper? I don't think so. We were supposed to have sliders but I did not get the buns. So we're just gonna do spaghetti and meatballs because we were supposed to have that different day and we did not do it. So we're gonna have that for supper tonight. I've already got the meatballs cooked and in the freezer. I have a video about that, where the way that um, I go ahead and make them ahead of time and cook them and put them in the freezer and then I can just pull out the Italian style meatballs and have a fast meal. And I've already got garlic bread in the freezer too. It's gonna be a simple supper. So I'm doing that, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take chicken out and put it in the refrigerator for tomorrow night supper. I'm gonna do a uh, crock pot, pull apart, barbecue chicken, whatever you wanna call it. I don't know what to call it. That's what Jeff called it. Um, I'm gonna do that because he's been wanting it. Um, but that'll be tomorrow night. Or I may go ahead, no I'm not. I'm gonna do it tomorrow. So I'll share that with y'all tomorrow. Um, I want to kind of talk about something that I don't know if it's going to happen yet or not, but it may. Um, places where that we are looking to buy, they don't have the best internet. So, 
Now, this may not happen for months. It may be a year. I don't know. But it's something that we've been thinking about. And I want to think that I can share things with you guys. But places we're looking to buy, some of them don't have the best internet. But if any of you have Verizon wireless home internet, not the Fios or however you say it, but the not the wired Verizon internet, but if you have the home internet that's like wireless let me know if it's any good or any kind of rural internet not satellite internet because everybody that i've talked to like my sister-in-law had it she said it was garbage i need to know because i know every one of you who are watching me has internet now you may be just watching on your phones and you have data for that but if you live in a rural area and you have internet that is not like traditional cable or something like that let me know what you have let me know if it's any good and that way I can check to see if it's any good or check to see if it's in our area now like my sister lives in a rural area but she has cable internet like she has a cable company like we have um, it's not the same one we have because that she doesn't have like they don't offer the same one that we have where she lives and they don't offer the same one she has where we live. But she has really good internet. If we lived close to where she lives, I know that we could have perfectly fine internet without any problems. But I want to be able to still continue to share my videos. Um, I guess I should say Tuesday through Sunday because I don't do Monday videos anymore. And y'all, I know I've only been doing this for two weeks. But only recording on Saturday, which I know not this past Saturday, but the one before I didn't record. But only recording on Saturday and Sunday and not having to edit, it's, it just feels good to not have to do that. It's like I have a little bit of time off um, because it does take a while to edit. But I love the editing process, but I don't want to be doing it while Jeff's home, if that makes sense. Now, if he's home, like for a little bit of the time, it's fine, but I usually do it while he's at work. Just say it that way. So, um, and then on Friday, I usually end up editing. Like, lately, I've been editing while he's at work because he's working second shift. But that changes next week. So, yeah. And also, like, okay, if you have rural internet, like Verizon Wireless or something, I've heard really good things about that, but I don't know if it's true you know because people on the internet could say things are good like I know there's some people who do reviews to get paid for them and they're not good and I know I've done reviews but I didn't get paid for my reviews I might have gotten a free product but I'm completely honest with you and some people are not honest and I trust you guys to tell me hey I have this and I really like it or I have this and I really like it that way I can go ahead and have a list of things and find out if they're close to me um, because otherwise I would most likely have to um, be like a week behind and go somewhere and upload my videos after I edit them and also we may have to give up things that we really don't want to because all of our entertainment for TV or whatever it's all streaming it's all like YouTube and stuff like that hopefully I won't have to we're gonna figure all this out though um, yeah, I want to talk about that. Also, next week, Jeff is going to be home all week. Is it next week? Yeah, next week. He's going to be home all week. So, I don't know if I'll be skipping anything other than Monday. But, make sure you check out my community tab if you don't see me upload at my normal time. Because... I may not be uploading if we're busy doing other things next week on Wednesday we have the appointment for our power box to be fixed and we won't have power all day long so if I don't have a video up like the next day or two after that it's because of that so just want to kind of give you a little bit of a heads up 
I'll probably talk about it again later on just to remind some of you that might not have seen this one. Stuff like that. So, I don't know what else I'm doing today. Um, I felt really cruddy Thursday and Friday. That's why I didn't have a video Saturday and Sunday. I don't know what was going on. I don't know if it was all the stress. But today I'm feeling really good. The weekend, I felt Saturday and Sunday, I felt really good. Um, and today I'm feeling good. And I really want to, like, get in here and do some things. And I'm going to, you're going to hear a little bit of music today. I'm going to vacuum. I know that. And um, I think, like, tomorrow I'll do the sweet mop thing if nothing else is going on. we got to see what else is going on. <laughs> But uh, today I'm going to vacuum and wash clothes. You may not see me fold any more clothes today. But, you know, I'm sure you're fine with that. But yeah, I don't know what else I'm doing. I may or may not share supper with y'all. I may show you what it looks like, but I'm probably not going to cook it with you because you you know how to cook spaghetti, I hope. You boil noodles and you heat up the sauce. We're using jar sauce because jar sauce is just easy and that's, you know, I have it. Oh, another thing that we are doing, and I don't know if y'all have noticed it or not. I think I have mentioned it. Pretty sure I have. We're not buying groceries the way we normally do because we're not restocking like we normally do because whenever we do go to move, we don't want to have all this extra. Plus, and I know this probably sounds crazy, especially to people who prep. It probably is making you cringe because it's making me cringe. But if we don't have an overabundance of things, we can move things easier and we can use our prepping bins to help with packing to take with us. So after we get moved, we can restock everything. Which means we're saving money by not buying the extra right now. So we're kind of just letting our supplies go down quite a bit. I don't know why that alarm keeps going off. I think the wind's blowing the flag outside or something. Um, because there's nobody out there I know. Because I looked earlier. <laughs> and it's just been going off constantly. Y'all might not even hear it. I don't know. But yeah, we're not buying extra um, food and household supplies. We're buying what we need right now. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be how it's going to be for a while. Unless we find that we are not going to be moving for a really long time. Which we hope is not the case. So, I think I have gone over all the things that I wanted to go over with you guys. I don't know if I have or not. I'll probably find whenever I'm editing, editing that I forgot something. So I'll make a note and I'll tell you later <laughs> if I do that. But yeah, I'm really glad that I don't feel like I did Thursday and Friday. I just felt so exhausted. I think it was mental exhaustion, y'all. I really think I was on the verge of burnout. But I'm feeling really good today. So we'll see. Oh, and also the intermittent fasting. It's going pretty good. I, I, I'm, I've lost some weight. You can't see that I've lost weight yet, but maybe soon. <laughs> I can see it on the scale, and I'm still checking my weight every day, which just feels so weird to me, but I'm doing it anyway because it's what my doctor asked me to do. So, I will be back, probably unloading the dishwasher. I don't know if I said I was or wasn't going to share that with y'all because I was thinking about not sharing it, but I guess I will. And hopefully you will like the music selections that I choose when I choose them. I don't choose them until I start editing. So, some people seem to like it. I like it. So, there we go. I'll be back. Say 
get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us, gotta say the obvious Nobody loves me better Okay, so Noah emptied the dishwasher and the dish drainer, and well, there's some dishes in the dish drainer that were still wet from the dishwasher, but anyway, he emptied those. So, those you will not see, and I'm about to hand wash things, but I have this can opener, and I really like this can opener, but as you can see, it started to get a little surface rust on it, and it's supposed to be stainless steel, um, but... It's doing it anyway. Well, I've tried to figure out ways that I could possibly make that go away to clean it up, to get rid of the rust, because it's a really good can opener, but I will not use it in this condition. Um, I have not used it for a very long time, and it is looking worse than it did because it's just been sitting, waiting for me to figure out what to do because I didn't really want to throw it away, but I didn't really want to use it anymore. So, I found a solution. Don't know if it's going to work. I've got me a little jar here. And you're supposed to be able to use either white distilled vinegar or apple cider vinegar. And can you come off? You're supposed to be able to let it soak. I probably should just go get the big thing instead of this. I don't guess it matters if the mother's in it or not. But anyway, um, you let it soak. I don't know if maybe I had a... I, I don't have anything that's... I don't know. That would work better than this jar, I don't think. Anyway, let it soak a while. I don't remember how long. I'll have to go back and look. I think it's like a couple hours. And then rinse it and let it dry really, really well. And... Um, it's supposed to get rid of that rust. I should have just got something else because now I'm just going to have to refill this jar. But this has been sitting up there for a little while and I kind of wanted to use it up anyways. Um, so, it's fine. Vinegar is a very good household cleaner. Um, I'll fill that later. I'll fill it up. But it's already looking darker. Ew, I think some of the rust is already coming off or I'm dreaming. Anyway, I'm going to let this sit. I don't know how long. I will come back and tell you how long you're supposed to. But right now I'm going to, or else I'll put it on the screen, something like that. But right now I'm going to wash up this little bit of hand wash dishes and get them done so that I can start supper. Okay, I went and looked real quick. It's according to how bad the rust is. If it's not super bad, you just go ahead and just like, you don't even have to let it soak for just a few minutes. But if it's pretty bad, which I think mine is, let it soak overnight. So this is to be continued, the can opener part. So I will finish that up tomorrow because I want it to soak well. But you let it soak, then you scrub it off. I'm probably going to get a cheap toothbrush or something. and Or maybe my cleaning toothbrush that I have over here. This is just for cleaning things in the kitchen nothing else um i may just use this to scrub it and let it dry thoroughly and it's supposed to help if it doesn't at least i tried something and it didn't cost me much to do it so now i'm going to wash these dishes first i'm going to put gloves on i don't really need new friends so spend your time with me Looking for someone who can play though, wanna hang with me I'm not really looking for a friend so spend your time with me Looking for someone not afraid of, give it all to me Get next to me, get next to me All that I want is to get next to you, get next to you Not asking for much but There's like the two of us are gold and the gold just see What do you got so take a chance, take a chance
Okay guys, you know what apple cider vinegar looks like. This has been less than 30 minutes and look how nasty that looks. And I don't know, I'm gonna try to wipe it a little bit with the toothbrush. See what happens. Oh my goodness. Y'all. Let me, let me, let me, let me move the camera. Y'all, um, this is Okay, I'm going to try to do this in a way that y'all can see it, but look at that. It's just coming off. Oh my goodness. I may go ahead and let it soak all night, or at least, I don't know. There's some that I don't know if it's rust or I don't know. There's it's crazy. We know it works though. It's coming off. That's wild. I'm gonna let it soak all night, but we know it works. Let me wash this thing. I was just noticing how dark that that vinegar had gotten. And as I said, that is just for cleaning stuff in the kitchen. That toothbrush is not for anyone's mouth or any kind of other cleaning. Just for like stuff like that what I just did but anyways that's wild I'm gonna show you what I'm using other than um, the meatballs or ones that I already cooked got those in a cast iron skillet over here heating up and I'm gonna put two jars of this full circle organic portobello mushroom pasta sauce in there and that will be our sauce and I have this Barilla whole grain Spaghetti. That's what I'm using for our spaghetti tonight. Just in case you wanted to know, but I'm not going to show you me cooking it. I've got water trying to boil over there. And I got those on. And I'm going to go ahead and get that all going. And I'm going to preheat my oven to 350 so I can cook my garlic bread. I've got to figure out how many pieces Noah wants and if he wants me to put cheese on it. I want cheese on mine. I've gotten sweaty. Should have put my hair up. I haven't. Okay, so here's the pasta sauce. Still bubbling, even though I did turn it off. And a little tip. If you do anything tomatoey in your cast iron, wash it immediately, clean it immediately, and oil it. Well, clean it, dry it thoroughly, and oil it. There's the noodles, and there's our toast, and we have our little plates, little bowl plates, and we got some Parmesan to put on. I'm probably going to get the other Parmesan out for Noah. But, um, that's our supper for tonight. Okay, I did put my hair up when I was cooking. But, um, supper is all ready to eat. I'm not, I haven't eaten yet because Noah's fixing his plate and I decided to go ahead and finish this up. Still washing the dog stuff. We'll be washing that probably all night. And then I'll do the washing machine. So, um, yeah, going to be doing that. And that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and do all the YouTube things. If you didn't do them anyway, you might like something I do later. Most importantly, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. And remember, don't take any wooden nickels. And be sweet.